try to get out and pick up a couple more positions to Debbie Hamlet not talking yet. He's back inside the hauler waiting to return to his race car. Thanks a lot, Jim Noble. Pat Patterson, it's tightening up at the front of the field. Yeah, we keep watching this, and uh, once again, Chase Elliott just got to be scratching his head going, where is he better than me? Because he is right in his tire tracks every lap, guys. Chase Elliott slowly creeping forward. Rob Albright was eight-tenths of a second down to uh, Kevin Harvick. Now it's .5. In other words, we're in front of territory with this third stage being 100. Well, still about 123 laps to go. And you got to wonder how hard these guys are running. Pat, do you think they're running as hard as they can? Or they got some entire pitch strategy going on? Well, I think that car Harvick is just, is just so good. I think Chase Elliott's obviously got a really good team as well. Uh, but, but, yes, I mean, these guys know right now, guys, that they've got to they've run some laps off the clock, so to speak, and that looks like what they're doing. Kyle Larson has taken over the third spot from uh, Brad Keselowski. So back in fifth now, Clint Boyer. And, wow, I mean, he surely would love to knock down a top ten here in just his second race as he is now the replacement for Tony Stewart at Stewart Haas Racing. Let's go to Brad Gilley. I can tell you Chase Elliott is very happy with his car on this run. In fact, the initial strategy was just to pace the four of Kevin Harvick. He lost a little bit of ground when he got caught up in traffic in one and two. But since then, now that he has Harvick in his sights, he's been able to make up that ground, which has been great. Now, we did see some really long green flag runs in between stages based on the number of laps that we've had. I can tell you this, we might see some long green flag runs again going to the end of this race. Austin Dillon was told, look, I don't know that we can expect to be pitting after 30 laps, Bill. I think we might be going about as long as we had during the two pit stops we had during the first two stages. Greg McMillan. I want to pay off the Ellen Hart Jr. situation. It was, in fact, a left rear tire that was loose. By the way, I think believe that there's no such thing as coincidence. Okay. We came here last year, Mark, remember, I think we ran something like 212, 213 laps caution-free before we finally had a caution. Here today, the only two 811 call before you did cautions have been the pre-planned NASCAR stages with the green checkered flag. I just don't know that this racetrack anymore lends to a lot of cautions. We didn't see a lot yesterday in the Xfinity race. It would have only been... There were only four in that race yesterday. The, the complexion of this race has changed a good bit. I, I honestly can't believe we've seen this much lack of yellow flags here this weekend here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Jimmy Johnson pitting the low Chevrolet in front of Doug Turnbull. And watching the pit stop right now. A few laps ago, Jimmy radioed to his team that he thought he had a problem. He fell off the pace very suddenly, but he gathered it back, got through him a jacket out, went in the wild, got the crew ready, and decided it was time to come in and short pit a little bit and see if they gave the position back. He's been toiling a lap down for the last little while. And Jimmy Johnson too fast on pit road Again. in section four. His second speeding penalty of the day, and that was going to leave a mark. And Jim Noble is back in the garage right now as we're watching uh, Ryan Blaney come in in the 20 and make another pit stop also along with Joey Logano. Let's go on down to Jim Noble now. Yeah, Ryan Blake actually after those problems with the loose wheels doable that the opening laps of the race has actually kept pace pretty well, but the problem is he never got those laps back. So his lap times were pretty good. And Ryan Blake is back in 26 position. That was Jim Noble down in the Advance Auto Parts Speed Perks Garage, brought to you by Advance Auto Parts, where they present the Speed Perks Rewards Program. Spend $100, get $20 off your next qualified purchase. No cards, no points. Absolutely no nonsense. All right, no nonsense here. Let's go down to Doug Turnbull. He's covering the action. Kyle Busch is mid, and Kyle's had a long day here in Atlanta. Uh, it's been a miserable day here, Doug. Lots of tire abuse, worse so than compared to other drivers. And, of course, that messes with the handling of the car. They took four tires to get the Busch has been two laps down. It was my pick to win the race, and so far it's been way off. And now Jimmy Johnson serving uh, his pass-through penalty for not his first, but his second. 